All right, let's head inside the RV. We're back on safe on ground. Uh, this I want to draw your attention to as we walk in is an automatic step. So when the door is open and closed, this opens and closes also. You don't have to get down there and wrench with it. Um, you can also switch, flip the switch to shut it off. So when you're parked at a campground, you can leave it out and you don't have to worry about it every time you open and close the door. It's in and out, in and out. And then once you're ready to go, it slides back in and you're good to go. As we come into the coach, it's the original Winnebago map, by the way. You can see 25 years of that. You know, works pretty well. Looks original to me, at least. Um, you have a little bit of storage on the one side for we have fire extinguisher, flashlight, bug spray, things like that. Over here, more storage compartment. Another compartment here. They go pretty much clear across, except for this one on this side has a little bit of the wheel well from the dual wheel on the backs there. That'd be good for baseball bats, fishing gear, things like that, as long as they fold it up into two. Uh, your fishing gear broke into two pieces. Right here, we have some more storage, like I said, on the other side. The same thing. This one does go clear straight through. I put things like tools, light bulbs, things you have just wanted to have just in case. As we walk up into here, dinette drops to a, to a bed. Those cushions fold out and go over the dinette. Um, they say he sleeps two adults. Uh, looks a little tight for two adults to me. We've never slept with two adults there. Two kids probably would be really comfortable, maybe one adult. Um, up in front here, another big window. These two windows are the same windows on the outside, you remember, where I, sh where I showed you where the awnings come down. I rolled the awnings up. One thing I want to mention, you have to either get on a step ladder or get onto the roof and roll them up. Uh, the automatic retracting mechanisms are, you know, like I said, they're 25 years old. They're a, little, they're a little old, so they don't work. But they roll up by hand just fine. You tie them off and you're good to go. Um, there are regular blinds, just like mini blinds, just like you'd have in the house here that come down and you open it up and you can crank them to let more light in, not let light in, you pull them down at night for privacy. Looking above, speaking of uh, lighting and letting light in, you'll see these blue strips. These are really not from Winnebago. The previous owner installed them and what those are are just very subtle lighting that you can have on at night that so you don't have to turn on the main lights and brighten everything up. Just keep a little lighting on so if you want to come up and get a drink from the, from the fridge or something as you're sleeping, you don't need to wake everybody up with the lights. Above here, two storage compartments. These are nice, they go clear through, so you don't have to worry about a wall. So if you wanted to put something in, like we mentioned, fishing poles or things like that. Also, we have cushions there from when we went to the NASCAR race. These are probably about two feet wide, a foot high, and a foot deep, give or take, when they, they're held up on these retractors. Therefore, you know, you don't have to worry about getting bonked in the head, and they and they uh, lock down, so you should uh, they shouldn't fall open, or at least stay closed, at least, um, when you're driving. Uh, to the, let's see, to the left here, we have the... A uh, place for the smoke carbon oxide detector. I have that on the table because the batteries have been out uh, for the winter. You see we have the furnace control here. This has a gas-powered furnace with air ducted. There's two ducts as soon as you uh, come in the door. And then there's also a few in the back for the bathroom, which we're going to get to in a second. Working down the driver's side, you see we have some... There was originally a slide-out drawer unit with the wire shelves. It just was, was really showing its age at 25. So we just sort of put these in just real quick. I have the original unit, if you um, the original door that was there and the slides if you like it. Um, I don't have the original shelving because it was too, it was the wire coated shelving or the um, white wire coated shelving that was just getting a little too, little too nasty. So we got rid of that. And this is more efficient use of space we found anyway. So that locks in place. Underneath that is, and it's going to be a little hard to see, so I'm going to turn the light on. Hopefully that will help a little bit. Um, this is your main breaker panel. This is for your generator. Um, all, your, all, your, all your power... Uh, we'll do an edit there. This here is for your is your generator pa generator panel. Let's just skip all that. We'll come back to that. Alrighty, moving along the front. Moving along to the front, you see we continue with more storage compartments. Storage compartments here. If I look down, this is what's called a jackknife sofa on the left. This folds out to a two-person sofa. We have slept with two adults here. Um, plenty of room for two adults. Now, once again, you're in an RV, so it's not exactly going to be like your, your uh, fancy bed at home, but it definitely serves the purpose. Two barrel chairs here with a table that folds down, or you can keep it up with a little bit of storage behind. Uh, some cup holders there and such. This is We actually keep our TV underneath there. Uh, sh once again, mini blinds on all the windows uh, in the back in the coach. Walking up, these are swivel chairs. These also have seat belts that can be used, so technically... Um, I believe RVs go with 
how many seat belts you have is how many you can technically sleep. So there's seat belts in the front two chairs. There's two seat belts on the couch and two seat belts here. So it's sleep six technically. Uh, in reality, you can actually sneak one person in and if they're small, like we talked about, two of the dinette. So I'm moving up. We have the driver's compartment here. Captain's chairs with armrests on both sides. You see, this is what I mentioned before or didn't. Uh, we're missing one button. I have the button. It can get sewn back on. But you see, there's not really a little bit of fading, but nothing, no rips, no tears. There's the driver's door with a sliding window. Uh, driver's compartment here. You can see, and if not, I, if you can't get a good look at this, I have a picture on it on the site for how many miles are on it. So we're looking at 64,650 original miles. Um, dual fuel tanks, as I mentioned earlier, they are controlled right there. You also have air conditioning. Uh, and there's some other switches for main, you know, checking the level of the battery and also for uh, you can actually charge all batteries at once while driving. And I put in a DVD player that also hooks up to the backup camera. So, and I also have the iPod adapter. So if you want to bring your iPod and hook it up, you can actually control your iPod right from the touchscreen or there is a remote that goes with it. And as that comes up. And then, in the, of course, in the middle here is where you see there, oh, see there, just popped up. There's your iPod control. And it's actually controlling my iPod right there. Not included. The iPod is not included. Sorry. Uh, but then you can also go back here. See, it's touchscreen. Go to the camera. And you are limited on what you can do. You can't necessarily play the iPod while the, while the, um, while the camera's up. But you can play the radio as well. So there's the backup camera you can see there. That's behind us that we saw earlier. And it's touchscreen. I use a touchscreen. It has a remote, but I use a touchscreen. Just nicer, especially when you're driving. Um, yeah, go back to iPod. Then you have your iPod controls, uh, similar to what you have on the iPod. Yeah, it's not perfect, but yeah, it will charge your iPod for you. Uh, going down here, you see the generator. Remember, I said we can start it. That is showing, in case it's hard to read, 247.9, and you start the generator uh, right from here. So that just started. The orange light comes on, and we're going to leave that running for now because I want to show you the air conditioner. And going to the passenger compartment. Passenger, same thing. Arm, double armrest chair. This chair swivels. You have a window. Uh, visors we talked about. There's two speakers in the top. They've been replaced. And there's two in the back have been replaced. I did that at the same time as the head unit. Some storage up here. There is a shade that hangs here that goes across the snaps for closing it in. There's also a shade that pulls clear around the front so when you're parked you can close this right in. Working backwards. Uh, we talked about the Sleeping this coach actually has and I'll show you if you look in the pictures I'll show you a picture of this and there'll be more video of this um, On another clip if you undo that buckle that buckle and there's two buckles here This bed drops to just about where the tops of the seats are so you can get another I'd, I'd say child But an adult will fit but I'd probably say child to really get a kick out of that There's also a shade these are brand new as far as um, you know to the coach the ones that were here were just you know They're showing their age of 25 years a generic all the all the blinds as far as what, not the blinds, but all the curtains that pull across are new. So this pulls across and we'll unsnap this. And you see this is how you can divide the coach this way too if you want some privacy. So there's two of these that pull across. And you can keep this closed while you're driving if somebody wants a privacy. Um, like I said, I'm gonna push these across so we don't lose the light so you can see. Okay, like I said, this folds to a, uh, a bed and then there's another shade that comes across here. So you can see that. And what that does is it pretty much closes off this entire compartment for guests. So we went down to a Dover NASCAR race. One couple slept here. We slept in the back. They had privacy. They had room to get changed and everything like that. Closed everything off and away they go. And people can still function out here at the dinette. Now, of course, you can hear it's not soundproof, but you can still function at the dinette. You hear the generator running there on the outside. The generator is technically underneath the bed in the back. Uh, we're going to come down this left side here, or the yeah, left side, the driver's side.